Actually, no, that's not. We're not doing skating and vomit at the Country Palace. We're just going to do a. There's only one about Bear that Hank wrote, and it's about Adolf Coors and his influence on a on a small guy from a small town in a small state. They're small boys, and they don't call him Adolf for nothing. <laughs> because it's his name. That's why. <laughs> okay, you're off the bus. <laughs> Let's try again. Thank you. Can I go? Can I go? Uh, go party with Neil Cassidy now? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> Let's With a case of cooled beer, cool in its heels, strategically near. They tell me he's a fascist. If it's true, I don't care. I'd follow a cold can of Coors anywhere. So pop up in a can and don't cut your thumb. If you're politically aware, act conveniently dumb. Pour it in a glass, sparkles like a jewel. Let's all drink Coors beer and get sloshed by the pool. I met my dear wife in Stillwater, that's right. We drank lots of Coors beer and she spent the night. We love to get stoned and watch late night TV. My wife and our friends and Coors beer and me. So pop up in a can and don't cut your thumb. If you're politically aware, act conveniently dumb. If you're getting up, then please get one for me. Looks like a good movie on Channel 3. Big Jim McClain. There's one about flying piranhas that hate tourists. And hit his wife in a sousaphone. The paper says that protests are radically fueled and insidiously victimize bleeding hard fools. If only what I read in my paper were true, I know that it's bullshit, but what could I do? Just pop up in a can. Thumb. If you're politically aware, act conveniently dumb. Pass another Coors friend and make no mistake. Let's buy three more six packs and go to the lake. Thank you. Hank Card. It's a very deep guy.